crochet project, you're going to need your 4 millimeter crochet hook as well as a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. You can pick your favorite yarns to use for your butterfly. I'm using my Red Heart Party Glitter yarn and this is a grape color and this is the fuchsia color and you can see there's a little sparkle to them. I'm also using I Love This yarn. It's a neon colored yarn and the color is purple neon. Here's some information about this yarn. The green yarn that I chose is by Red Heart. Here's some information about this yarn and the color is spring green. And then the white color I'm just using from Big Twist. So you can have fun. This is a great project for a scrap yarn if you have extra yarn that you want to use for something. For the border of the butterfly wing I used I Love This yarn. It's a metallic, it's called Pinky Toes color. And here's some information about this yarn. So we're going to start with the body of the butterfly. So go ahead and take whatever you want for the center body for the butterfly. And we're going to start with the magic circle. So you just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, then wrap the yarn around the two middle fingers twice, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then just take your crochet hook, go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to place six single crochet into the center of the magic circle. So six single crochet. Then we're going to close the magic circle, so you just take your forefinger and thumb, just hold the base of the six single crochet. You have the two loops on the opposite side, just pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. Then just take that loose yarn end and pull on that. Then you're going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch that you made. So you're going to take your crochet hook, go into that first stitch, under both loops. Go ahead and yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to slip stitch into the base of that chain of six. So just go into the base of the chain of six, yarn over, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. And then you just completed a ring. Now you're going to turn your work so that you're working back inside of the ring that you just created. And you're going to make a slip stitch. And you're going to slip stitch inside the ring until you get to the top of the ring. So just a couple of slip stitches. I'm going to make one more and then that will bring me to the top of the ring. And then I'm going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to take and slip stitch into the inside of that second ring. Just make your slip stitch and then you've completed the three rings in the center of the butterfly. So now you can change colors. If you want your butterfly to be all one color, then you would, you would just continue on. But if you want to change colors, then you're going to change colors just like I'm going to do right now. This loose yarn end on that magic circle, you can pull on that if you want to close that center of that magic circle. So now you're going to get your new yarn if you're changing colors. So now you're just going to bring up a loop with your new yarn and I'm working in the center ring. So here's the magic circle that we started. This is our second ring 
and then this is the third ring we just made. So now you're just going to bring up a loop with your new color, then just chain one, then you can take and cut the previous colored yarn and just tie a knot and now we're ready to make the first wing on the butterfly with our new color so the first thing we're going to do is just chain four, one, two, three, four. That counts as your first double crochet and chain one. Now you're going to double crochet into the center ring. So just yarn over, go into that center ring, and you're going to go behind your loose yarn end, bring up a loop, and then make a double crochet. You can scoot your double crochet over if you need to. Then you're going to chain one and then double crochet into the center of the ring and you're going to go behind your loose yarn in and you're going to repeat this. Chain one, so this is my second, chain one. and then double crochet. I'm going behind the loose yarn end. And then I'm going to chain one for number three and then double crochet into that center ring. And I'm going to do that two more times. Chain one and then double crochet. chain one and then double crochet. So now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total including that first chain three that I made. Then you can take and just trim that loose yarn end on the back after you buried it. And now we're going to move up to the second row of the first butterfly ring, wing. So you're going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. So that counts as your first double crochet and chain one. Then just turn your work. And then you're going to make a double crochet into the first double crochet, the next stitch that's the first double crochet, so not the chain one stitch. Just yarn over and go into that double crochet stitch. So you're skipping the chain one stitch and going right into the top of the double crochet stitch from the previous row. And then just make a double crochet. Then you're going to make a chain of two, one, two, and then double crochet into the same stitch, so yarn over. Go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, complete your double crochet. Then you're going to chain one and then repeat the double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. So yarn over, go into the next double crochet stitch from the previous row, make a double crochet, chain two. and then double crochet into the same stitch. Then you're going to chain one and repeat. So double crochet into the double crochet stitch. So make sure you get the double crochet stitch. Then chain two and then double crochet into the same stitch and then you're just going to repeat that all the way to the end. 
in the last stitch you're just going to make one double crochet on the top of that last double crochet to end that second row. Then we're going to move up to the last row for the wing. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch over. That brings you to the chain two space. You're going to make a single crochet into the chain two space and then a single crochet in the next double crochet space and then a single crochet into the chain one space. Now we're going to create a ring. So you're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then you're going to slip stitch into that single crochet at the base. So that first single crochet that you made, you're going to make a slip stitch into that stitch. So just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then you're going to turn your work so that you're going to work into the ring itself. So you're going to go into the ring, into the center of that ring. You're going to bring up a loop and then you're going to make a single crochet then chain five one two three four five then slip stitch into the center of the ring then you're going to chain six again one two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then you're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then you're going to turn and go into the next stitch of the wing and just make a single crochet. And then you just create this cute design on the wing. And then we're going to create another one here to the same way and then another one here. So three of them total just center them on the ring. So if you want you can place yarn markers to decide where you want the design on the wing. So here you can see that I'm making this design in the chain 2 space right in the center of the wing and then I placed the third one right where the same position that I made my first one on the opposite side so they'll be symmetrical. So I'll make one more with you. So I'm going to make a single crochet and the next space is a chain one space. I'm going to go right in that space below the chain one and just make a single crochet. And Then I'm going to make a single crochet into the top stitch of the double crochet of the next stitch. and then a single crochet into the next chain one space. So I'm just going right in the space with my crochet hook making a single crochet. Then I'm going to make a single crochet into the top stitch of the next double crochet. That brings me to the chain two space. I'm going to remove the yarn marker. I'm going to go right into that chain two space, make a single crochet, and then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to slip stitch into that stitch, my first single crochet on the base. Just make a slip stitch and then I'm going to turn my work so I'm working into the ring itself. So I'm going to bring up a loop, make a single crochet, chain five because that single crochet counts as one. 
Then I'm going to slip stitch into the center of the ring. I'm going to chain six. I'm going to slip stitch into the center of the ring. Chain six. And then slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then I'm just going to turn so that I'm facing the right direction on the wing and then just make a single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the next stitch and then just keep making a single crochet until you get to your next design for the wing. Now I've made it to the end of this last row. You can see how I made one, two, three for the design. Now I'm back towards the top. So this is where our magic circle was for the head of the butterfly. The center ring is where we made the wing, the one side of the wing, and then we have the third ring that's the bottom of the butterfly. So now we're going to make the antenna. So go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then you're just going to slip stitch into the head of the butterfly so just take and make a slip stitch into the head of the butterfly then you can go into the next stitch over make a slip stitch Then you're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, yes, so make a chain of six. Then go ahead and just finish off, just yarn over, and then just pull enough yarn through to sew this side of the antenna to the second wing. Now we're going to make the second wing. So you're going to take, make sure that you join the same color into the center ring. So make sure you grab the center ring when you're joining your new color. Just bring up a loop. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn in for burying into your work. Go ahead and chain one and then just tie a knot. And then you're going to make the second wing the exact same way that you made the first wing. And I'm going to go ahead and make it with you. So again, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then double crochet into the center of the ring. And I'm going to go behind my loose yarn end. Complete a double crochet. And then chain one and then double crochet. So that counts as the first one. Here's the second. Chain one and then double crochet. And then remember you're going to have a total of five. And then come back. So now I have a total of seven. Double crochet including that first chain three. Now we're ready to move up to the second row. So you're going to chain four one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go ahead and cut my purple, the deep purple loose yarn in that I was crocheting with.
and then just turn your work and again you're going to make a double crochet chain two double crochet into that first double crochet stitch from the previous row chain two and then double crochet and remember you're doing this into the double crochet stitches from the previous row and then between you're just going to chain one and then the last stitch will have one double crochet so go ahead repeat this pattern for this second part just like we did for the other wing then that completes the second row now you're going to chain one turn your work and then you're going to make a single crochet across to where you want to make your first design. I'm going to make it the same place that I made the design last time. So I'm just going to double check. So I'm in my first chain two space. I'm going to make a single crochet into the next space and then in the next chain one space is where I'm going to make the design which will be equal to the opposite side so chain six I'll make the first one with you and then I'll let you make the rest and then slip stitch into that single crochet at the base of the chain six and then I'm just going to turn my work to work into the ring so I'm going to make a single crochet and then chain five and then slip stitch into the ring then I'm going to chain six and then slip stitch into the ring and then chain six and then slip stitch into the ring then I'm going to turn the wing so that I'm facing the right direction and then make a single crochet into the next stitch and then continue on and then make your other two designs in the same spot that you made on the opposite wing and then come back. Now we finished both wings of the butterfly and then you have the antennas at the top so I have the both middle wings finished so now we're going to slip stitch into that bottom ring so we can make another wing, a smaller wing at the bottom. So you just take and slip stitch down. So go into that last double crochet from the previous row and just slip stitch down it. So go into the stitch on the double crochet that's on its side from the previous row and then just slip stitch all the way down until you reach the ring, that bottom ring. And then you're going to slip stitch into that ring. So then you go into that bottom ring and then just make a slip stitch into the bottom ring. And then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Then you can make a double crochet into the ring go right into the center of the ring make a double crochet then chain one and double crochet then you can scoot it over too because you only want to use half of the ring because we still need to make the wing on the opposite side so so far I have three double crochet counting that first chain I just finished my third double crochet. I'm going to chain one and make one more double crochet. 
Then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Then turn your work. And then you're going to make this smaller wing the same way. So in the next stitch, which is the double crochet, you're going to skip the chain one, work into the double crochet stitch from the previous row, make a double crochet into that double crochet stitch, chain two, and then double crochet into the same stitch. Then you can chain one, and then make the same double crochet, chain two, double crochet into that double crochet stitch from the previous row. So you're skipping the chain one stitches. And then in the last stitch, first you'll chain one, and then just make a double crochet into that last stitch. Now you could finish off now, but I'm going to make one more design just like I did here on the larger wing. I'm going to make one right in the center. So that's optional, you don't have to, but um, I'm going to do that. So go ahead and chain one, turn the work, make a single crochet into the next stitch, and you're just going to make one single crochet into every stitch until you get to the center. So I'm going to get into the center stitch, which is right here. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's a good center stitch. Then I'm going to chain six. And then slip stitch into that single crochet stitch that I made at the base of the chain six. And then I'm just going to turn my work so I can work into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, make a single crochet, and then chain five. So just like we did before, I'm going to slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then I'm going to chain six. Then slip stitch into the center of the ring. Chain six. and then slip stitch into the center of the ring. Then I'm going to make a single crochet. Make sure you turn your work so that you're facing the right direction. And then make your single crochet to complete the ring. The wing, I mean. I keep calling it a ring. The wing. Complete the wing. And then I've complete, completed one side of the lower wing. Now I'm going to slip stitch down the side of the wing because I want to get back to the bottom ring of the butterfly body so I can make the other lower wing. So now I'm back to the ring. I'm going to slip stitch into the ring. And then I'm going to make the same lower wing on the opposite side. So I'm going to chain four. And then double crochet into the bottom ring. Chain one. And then double crochet. and then chain one, and then double crochet for the same number of double crochet that I did on the opposite wing. Then I'm going to chain four. Even though we've done this together for the opposite wing, I'm going to go ahead and do it with you anyway. Go ahead and turn the work, and then again on the double crochet from the previous row, you're going to make a double crochet into that stitch. Then chain two, double crochet into the same stitch, and then repeat across just like we did for the other wing. Then after you finish that second row for the smaller wing, then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then just make a single crochet 
in every stitch until you get into the same stitch that you made the opposite design. You're going to make it on the same spot. Then after you finish that design you can go ahead and finish off. So just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. So now you can take and sew the other antenna in place. Just take your tapestry needle and put the long end that you left for sewing on the other antenna and just take and sew it to the tip of the wing. The same area that the other antenna is, sewn, is in place. And then just tie a knot. I usually just tie a knot on the wrong side. So just take and turn over the work and then just take and tie a knot. Then you can take and bury the loose yarn end. So to bury your loose yarn ends you just take and weave the yarn through the wrong side. and then just cut the loose yarn in. So go ahead and bury any of your loose yarn ends. Now you have your beautiful butterfly. I'm going to show you how to make it into a square now. So you're just going to turn it over so that the wrong side is facing you and you have the head and the antenna, antenna facing up. Now go ahead and set it down for now and we're going to make the back portion for the butterfly. So go ahead and take whatever color that you want for your flower. I'm going to be using the fuchsia colored yarn and I'm just going to fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb, then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then make a chain of five then you're going to make a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Then take your crochet hook, go into that first chain that you made, and then you're going to make a slip stitch to join into a circle. So just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops. Then you're going to go into the center of the loop with your crochet hook and then bring up a loop. I'm going to go behind my loose yarn end and then make a single crochet. Then chain two. That's going to count as your first double crochet into the ring. We're going to make a total of 20. So that first chain counts as your first double crochet. So yarn over, go into the center of the ring, go behind your loose yarn end, bring up a loop, make your second double crochet, and then just continue making double crochets into the center of the ring until you have a total of 20 double crochets into the center of the ring, and then come back. After you have 20 double crochet into the center of the ring, you're going to go ahead and make a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first chain that you made. So make a slip stitch into that first one. Then you're going to chain three for the next round. Then you're going to make one double crochet into a total of four stitches. So this first chain three counts as one. I'm going to make a double crochet into the second stitch. One double crochet into the third stitch. One double crochet into the fourth stitch. And then that brings me to the corner stitch. 
So each fifth stitch will be your corner stitch and you should have a total of four by the time you get back to your first chain. So now you're going to make a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, go into the fifth stitch, bring up a loop, make your treble crochet, so yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two. Then you're going to make a chain of three, one, two, three, and then make another treble crochet into the same stitch. And then your first corner is complete. So then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four. I'll make one more with you. And then you're going to make your corner stitch. So a treble crochet into the fifth stitch, chain three, and then treble crochet into the same stitch, and then repeat. So I have two corners done. You need two more, and then come back. Then you're going to take, after you finish your fourth corner, you're going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first double chain three that you made. Just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. So now we're going to slip stitch into the space between here is the treble crochet of the corner, here's the first double crochet and the second. So between the first and the second double crochet you're going to make a slip stitch into that space between them. And then you're going to chain three. That counts as your first double crochet for this next round. You're going to make two more double crochet into the same space. Then chain one. You're going to skip two double crochet and go into the space between the second and the third. So I skipped two double crochet. I'm going to make three double crochet into the same space. And then chain one. And then you're at your corner stitch. So you're going to make three double crochet into that corner stitch. right into that space in the corner stitch. Chain two. Three more double crochet into the same space, corner space. And then you've completed the corner stitch for this round. So each side is going to be made the same way and each corner stitch is made the same way. So now I want the same space that I made the three double crochet along this side. So I'm going to make each side the exact same way. So first I need to chain one after that corner, uh, corner stitch. Then I'm going into that space for three double crochet. So now I'm going to chain one, skip the two double crochet, and make three double crochet into that space. Then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm, that brings me to the next corner. So I'm going to make three double crochet in that corner just like I did for the last corner. Then I'm going to chain two 
and then three more double crochet in the same corner. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around, back to where we started, and then come back. So I just finished my fourth corner and my chain one. Now I'm going to join with the top stitch of that first chain three that we made. So I'm going to make a slip stitch. And now I want to change colors. So I'm going to bring my new color in, but first I'm going to get into the space. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the chain one space. So once I'm in the chain one space, I can change to my next color. So my next color is going to be the green. So I'm going to bring up a loop, chain one. Then I'm going to cut the previous colored yarn and then just tie a knot. And then these loose yarn ends I'm just going to leave to bury later. So now, let me just get this glitter off. Now I'm ready to make the next round with my green colored yarn. So I'm going to chain three and then make two more double crochet into the same chain one space. Then I'm going to chain one and then make three double crochet into the next chain one space. Then chain one and that brings me to my first corner. So in that chain two space of the corner you're going to make three double crochet chain two and then three double crochet and then you're just going to repeat this the same way just chain one and then in each chain one space you're going to be making the three double crochet so the chain one space from the previous row, you're going to make your three double crochet. Then you're going to chain one between and then three double crochet. And then when you get to the corner, you'll do the three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So now you can see the gorgeous colors and stitches for this granny square. Now I'm going to change colors again. I've already slip stitched and joined the round. So again, you want to you want to join colors in the chain one space. So I'm going to slip stitch across until I get to my chain one space. And then I'm going to change colors and now I'm going to change to the white colored yarn. Then you just repeat the same thing all the way around. So I make three double crochet into the same chain one space, chain one, and then three double crochet into the next chain one space. Then chain one, and then you're going to make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into the corner stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So you can see how you can just continue making it as large as you want. So if you want to stop here you would just finish off, just yarn over and then pull the yarn through and then just cut to bury your loose yarn in. But for mine I'm going to continue on with my new color so I have a different shade of purple. I'm going to add 
to mine to make it. I'm going to try to make a 7 inch by 7 inch square. This is how mine looks when I'm finished. Then you can just take and bury your loose yarn ends. Just take your tapestry needle and you just take the loose yarn ends and just weave them through the same colored portion. I usually go through a couple of times and then just trim the loose yarn end. And then now we're ready to sew the butterfly in place. So go ahead and get the right side so that it's facing up. Then just take and place your butterfly how you want it on the square. And then you're taking the same colored yarn as the butterfly in your tapestry needle. And then you're just going to sew the center. So you're going to come up from the wrong side. and then you want to sew around the center portion of the butterfly. On the wrong side I made sure to make small stitches so you can't see it. And then you can see how I'm coming up through the right side. You can make a little bit larger stitch on the right side. And then you're just sewing it in place. You'll see a little bit of the purple but not too much. Then I just tied a knot and buried the loose yarn ends and this is what it looks like on the wrong side. And then on the right side you have a beautiful butterfly with the wings on the flower. So then I wanted the butterfly wings to stand out so what I did was I just joined the pink color. So you take the bigger wing and then you're going to join the pink color, the light pink color, so you can make a border which makes the wings stand out and gives a little bit more color to the butterfly. So you just tie a knot. and then just chain one and then you're just going to go into the next stitch over and then just go behind the loose yarn end to bury it and just make one single crochet in every stitch. I'm going behind the loose yarn end until I get to the first little design that you have on the wing. Then I'm going to go ahead and just cut my loose yarn end. And then you're going to go, you have three little circles in the design on the wing. So you're going to go into that first loop. First I'm going to make a single crochet in the stitch right before the loop. Then I'm going to go right into the loop inside that first loop. And then I'm going to make two single crochet into that first loop. Then I'm going to go into the second loop and make two single crochet. And then I'm going to go into the third loop and make two single crochet. Then I'm going to skip the center design, three loop design, and then I'm going to go right into the loop on the third little design with the three loops. I'm going to just call it a clover. So I went into the opposite clover. So I skipped one clover, went into the opposite loop of the third clover to make a single crochet, two single crochet, and then I'm going to make two single crochet into the second loop of the clover and then two single crochet in the third loop of the clover. Then I'm going to actually make one more single crochet in that last loop of the clover to bring me to the wing again and then just make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches until I get to the antenna and then I'm going to go ahead and finish off just enough to bury into my work. So on the opposite side you may want to start with the antenna and then work your way around. 
So then you're going to do the same thing with the lower wing. You can see how I made the one smaller wing the exact same way, two single crochet into each of the clover design. And this is how the butterfly looks like when you're finished.